Hey, what's up, print hustlers? Uh, Matt here, and we want to go over how to use JotForm with Zapier. Zapier, Zapier, I never know how to say it. Um, but JotForm and Zapier to connect your website to your Printavo account. So let's jump in. I'm here at my shop, Sound of Fury Print. Uh, we're at our website here. Uh, and I've got a couple calls to action. Uh, quick, uh, get a quote now, instant order. Uh, quick quote, instant order. Instant order is going to take you over to my Inksoft site to set up uh, instant purchasing of uh, discounts of 12, 24, et cetera. Design your own. All that fun stuff. Design ideas. I've also got uh, graphics flow connected. So uh, nice, robust opportunities for customers to start orders. Um, but let's say they hit the get a quote now. Uh, what happens is it redirects them to this other page here where they can actually fill out this form, tells them what to do, step one, request a quote, get an approval, production time, order delivered. So let's go ahead and fill this form out. Uh, the way I built this form, by the way, folks, is I used JotForm. Uh, JotForm, you can actually get for free. I am now am paying. I hit the amount that I was able to get. Um, I had to take a bunch of these submissions, and every couple of weeks I'll, I'll take them and put them in a folder. That way it refreshes this to zero so I can keep an eye on it. Um, but you can get JotForm for free. It'll have the watermark of JotForm unless you pay for it. Um, it's worth it, though. I think I spent uh, like 100 bucks for the year. Uh, definitely, definitely worth it. But you go ahead and go in here and you can create a form, right? So if I click edit form, we can see here, this is where I've built this form. You can add form elements right here. Uh, there's a couple different options. You can also go with different styles. Uh, if you want to go with a uh, different kind of layout card form instead, but you can start to build these out and decide what is required and what's not required. So let's go ahead and just fill one of these out. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, first name is uh, Matt Marcotte. Let's go ahead and use my uh, Matt at printavo.com email, right? Um, 2300-2624. All right. Uh, this is going to be Chicago, Illinois. Um, great, great. And zip code 60630. All right, how did you hear about us? Google, great. This is important to keep an eye on just to, to know how people are hearing about you. Project details, name your project, uh, jet form, showcase. All right, do you have a hard deadline, yes or no? Uh, do you have art? If you do have art, you can actually upload pieces of art right here um, and it'll give a hyperlink to that piece of art. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and grab something from my other screen and... Right, so I'm going to steal this JPEG and upload this that I want to have that printed. So they uploaded some art. Do you need help with art? No. All right, great. So I can answer that. Your items. So now I've got some more questions. Again, this is all stuff I decided I wanted to build in this form, intake form. What I'm trying to do this form is get as much information as I can without having to first have a dialogue with them. So what, what are you looking for? Shirts, hoodies, etc. cetera. Uh, so we'll go ahead and say, we want some shirts. How many are you looking to have? A uh, minimum of 12, looking for 24. Uh, I want these to be black. Um, and then uh, price point quality, let's go with standard. Um, I think screen printing is what I want. And then uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and have that shipped to me. That's totally fine. And I'm gonna click submit. Now it's asking here, do I have a hard deadline? No, that's fine. So good to go there. I can now go ahead and submit this. So submit, any other issues I missed, it'll show me. All right, we have that set up. And it says, please visit uh, our website and we'll get back to you within four business hours. So the customer has done their job here. Now, what do I have happening in the back end of this? Well, when they fill that form out, it is gonna end up going over here into JotForm. So I can go over here and you will see that form has been submitted. Now it says 18 submissions, right? If I click on submissions there, it'll say the top ones from, you guessed it, Matt Marcotte. All those things are right there. And there is a link to this art as well, right? But I also, within Zapier, 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 again, I don't know what to call it, um, but this software, <laughs> zapier.com, I have this form submission request, jot form to Printavo. So if I go take a look at this, I can see what it's doing. So the trigger is new submission in JotForm. So Zapier and JotForm do talk to each other. So here we can say that if this form is filled out, I want it to do what? I want it to find a customer in Printavo. So based off of the field email, Matt at Printavo, it also has the first name and the last name and the phone number, because I put that in there. 
right? And it says create Printava customer if it doesn't exist yet. So it's taking this form submission, reading this information saying, hey, do they already exist in Printavo? If they do, great, we have found them. If they don't, it creates them in my Printavo account for me. So now they are a customer in my Printavo account. Now, the way that JotForm uh, houses dates is different. So it has this created, this, this string, it needs to be in this string. Right, so I did use this built-in uh, date slash time formatter in Zapier to just migrate how it comes over to the format that it needs to be. It then goes into Printavo. It's already determined if they're a customer or it's made the customer. What I have it do then is actually create a new job, right? The user assigns it as me. General quantity, it will put in the total they have. Nickname, I called it test order. We can call it, the example is test order. I think I called it uh, the job form showcase, right? It will nickname it that. Customer due date, customer, created the customer ID. Production due date, right? And then it drops it to 100% deposit because if you're a new customer for my shop, we want 100% upfront. You can also leave some of these things blank. Now, this is where the magic kind of happens, right? So in the production notes area of that quote, I have typed out, so I hand typed out, number one, how did you hear about us? So what I did is I went through and I looked to see, okay, what of these questions do I really fully care about? I already know their name, they've already created that, right? So of these questions, what do I fully care about to have laid out? So that was the first thing I decided I cared about. How did you hear about us? Do you have a hard deadline, right? Do you need uh, design help? And I've mapped the answers to this, right? So based off of what I got over in JotForm, I, even, I type it out and then I map the answer. Type it out, I map the answer. I added this BR break to help make sure it creates a new line. So when it comes over, it's pretty clean and all makes sense, right? So here are the answers to all those questions. It then creates that and when it creates that, it puts it into the status that I've created in my Printavo account already, the status is called form fill quote request. So I can choose which status I want it to go over as, right? Then in my uh, zap here, it sends an email from our shop email to the customer, BCCing me so I can keep an eye on it from our info, right? And it actually calls them by their first name and lets them know that we'll get back to them shortly, right? So they submitted that and they immediately got an email from us saying, hey, thank you so much for your job form submission. We'll get back to you, right? So they've already gotten a touch point. Now that's already super helpful. If I go into Printavo now for Sound and Fury, I'm gonna give it, give it a minute to refresh here. The job form, form submission can take a minute or so for it to go over, uh, pending what version of uh, Zap you're using. I'm using the cheap one, so it's not gonna be instant for a lot of those apps. It may take a little bit of a time for it to actually go over into my Printable account. So I'll come back over here, we'll give it a couple minutes, and video guy Chris might even have to cut some of this stuff out. All right, and here we can see it has come on in. Uh, it's, my email is already associated with Matt Cott, Matt Cott. Uh, shout out to uh, my nickname that's in the industry now, so Matt Cott. Uh, all right, so uh, when I click into there, uh, what you can see, if I just go back to my quotes here, you can see it's in the status of form fill quote request, one in form fill quote request. So if I click here, it'll take us into the job. Now I haven't done anything. This happened all on its own thanks to that zap. Now at form fill quote request, I do have an automation set to send a text message to me, letting me know, hey, a new job has been entered from a form fill, go finish it. So I can be watching Netflix with my wife, whatever, end of the night, and I can get this little text for myself. Ooh, sweet. And I can just jump on and quickly do this. So I can see here, how'd you hear about us? Google, hard deadline, no, need help, 24 units, uh, art file. So if I click right here, it'll actually download that art file. So I'll click right here. We'll see that download. Uh, it's on my other, other screen here. What color items? Uh, black. What type of items looking for? Shirts. Quality type standard. So I see this, I also have this customer now in my Printavo. So I can simply click edit 
And from here, I can go ahead and start to make those changes. So here's the answers to that jot form we had right there. I can go ahead and put in, yep, we're going to go ahead and quote out they wanted a standard. Let's do a 3001 uh, black. I'll go ahead and grab that price point uh, out of, uh, well, it's probably not working because I'm trying to record a Zoom right now. Uh, here we go. And I'm going to choose SNS in this case, uh, 24 of these. Right, I can go ahead and apply my imprint. I can finish this quote nice and neat and send it out to the customer. I like this because I'm able to actually get more information to generate that first quote. Now, if I don't have what I need out of this quote, then I will go ahead and call the customer uh, and try to get more. I do recommend calling the customer. If they didn't give it to you up front, they probably aren't gonna be really good about sending things back through email. So just give them a call and ask for what you need and have them email file references if you have to. Um, but that's how I have JotForm on my website linked into my Printavo account with customers being generated automatically, right? Uh, another uh, pro tip to think about is customer notes. Uh, in your customer notes section, I do recommend that you try to have a shared document somewhere that you can kind of copy and paste things into this field. That way you can always direct them to read the customer notes with those automated emails saying, hey, look for more information in the customer notes section. So again, that's how I'm using uh, Zapier, 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 again, I don't know what to call it, but uh, Zapier's integration uh, with JotForm as well as Printavo and having that all available on my website as a quick quote. Um, and that way I can get customers from off the street coming in and filling this out and giving me enough to actually start that quote with them. Hope this helps. Uh, let us know how you get people to get the information to you to try to reduce uh, touch points and get more shirts done. Thanks so much, folks. Talk to you soon.